Olá e sejam bem-vindos a mais um Bem Responde. Ei! Ei! Boa! Bem Responde muito responde. feliz. Responde! Com o final de semana de 2x0, então a gente tá aqui pra responder um pouquinho das perguntas que vocês mandaram pra gente. Puxa a vinheta. First question for all of you guys. Did you ever think that the game against Fluxo was out of control? Congratulations on the 2-0. Thank Obrigado. you. Thank you. In game. Were you guys fine all the time, or sometimes you guys felt it was out of all the control? First was hard game, but I didn't expect we lose. I had good fight comp, so yeah. I think from outside looks like we were losing, maybe more than winning, because they have much pressure on the map and the waves because of side lane. So that's why I think uh, everyone had this impression more of during the game. Inside the game, we felt if we grew. We can win, so we needed an uh, opportunity to group. So when Baron was up or Drake fight, something like that. These moments we were comfortable to win, but we knew it would be a kind of hard game to like make something, you know? Okay, so now another <laughs> question. First, I need to praise Kaka's map view and control. Mm. It's been a while since we've been able to realize that Carioca is aware of everything that's happening everything. on the map. Everything. Oh, wow. yeah. All of that being said, <laughs> why haven't we been able to push our early game even more aggressively? Okay. <laughs> but, tu mandou bem e tal, mas... Yeah, não yeah. nada. Tipo, tu sabe onde o yeah. tá, You know that the jungler is top, is ganking mid, is ganking bot, but when we will do something... <laughs> Good question. Uh, of course you don't have like insane in the game, but you are trying to be more aggressive and try to make more plays. But right now I think you still need to learn a bit more. But it's true that you know everything about the game. It's true. And now the next question is like they are saying for the coaching staff, don't you think that being no for always following the plan and like always being the team that scales is kind of bad for like bo 5 <laughs> So, where is the coaching staff? For that, answer that. <laughs> então, sim, yeah, of course, we know that uh, we don't want to be like a predictable team. But at the same time, um, we kind of need to be stable on our own game. And like, even though like the other teams know our, our, our good points or like bad points too, we anyways need to be a stable team, you know, as solid on what we do. So we know uh, our mistakes, we know like what we should improve on and we are talking a lot about that since last beat or like since bootcamp for example and we are trying to, to improve step by step and yeah that's it, we are trying to kind of not being like a scaling team but anyway, like yeah, it depends on the meta, it depends on like our play style or like, like even our players style, so yeah and with that being said, the next question is like Everyone says that Pain only drafts for scale, but you guys have the the faster the faster wins on C below. I didn't know about that. But yeah, they're saying like yeah, our average of winning is like 30, 30 minutes and 51 yeah. seconds, and the second one is loud with 31 minutes and 39, 39 seconds. Yeah. So with that being said, we are the early game team now. Yeah. yeah. So if we win, if we won the first game, ah, what's going on? And now they are asking about our draft against Liberty. They are asking why we blinded NAR for Wiser. And I think Wiser made this question. Why we picked NAR blind and we let last pick to Pro Delta and the last pick was Lulu. And anyone knows already we play Lulu. Why they have so much interest about our draft? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, they're just they, they are wondering because they're saying ah because everyone knows you guys play Lulu so we're not picking Lulu before yeah. and giving like a best last pick to either. Support for fun, no? they Yeah, they picked. They, yeah, but they our pick support was last pick. Uh, yeah, I know, yeah. but I'm saying uh, yeah. Sometimes we can't blind Lulu, but we can't pull Lulu fast. Yeah, no? because so. Lulu is not too strong. Right? It's kind of a situation. But we didn't plan to just pick Lulu there. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's, that's the, the point. point. Tipo assim, não necessariamente também o last pick vai ser algo que, nossa, vai rasgar o jogo, a gente vai dar last pick blitz, sei lá, o produto fazer yeah. chover. The same as we last pick for Ryzen and he picks Sion. Because Why if you don't want to pick Sion, just pick him for it. So yeah, Rodelta like should have now. picked, I don't know, Fiddle support, something yeah. like that. You know? And also, even Sion, like, if you yeah. want to like, pick Sion, for example, can be good sometimes to last pick, so enemy just can't have Gwen, for example. You know? yeah. Just for having a, a best kind spot for Sion or a best example, spot Jinkas. for Lulu. You know? Okay, next question. Even with a lot of nerfs, some C-Below players are still playing Zeddy. Is it because of meta or because of comfort zone? 
Yeah. If I should answer that. No? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, of course, Jerry is playable, but I don't feel Jerry is broken. So we don't really need to be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's why. And they are asking what is the limit between like just following the meta or playing with what you like to, what is your comfort zone to, even though it's not that meta. It's good to just following meta because we already have a information. After a first round with good results, do you think it's possible to compare with the last split? Because usually we start the split bad, in a bad way, and we evolve over the weeks. But in this split we are kind of doing the no you're not doing the opposite because you're not going bad but yeah, we hope, start well so what you guys think uh this is happening i think jinkas uh, should answer no because jinkas was in the both split. Split. Only <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, the only one who was in the both split i don't remember much about the beginning of last split but i i remember we were playing just bad individually i think it's a good reason because we were playing really bad individually so we couldn't make team play we couldn't make good plays as a team. We were in the snowball kind of, you know, we were, we were thinking we were bad and we were playing bad on stage because we were nervous and we wanted to be, play better so we were too hurry. So it's a kind of snowball thing, you know. That's why I think we delayed to start on the last split and this split we didn't have this problem so that's why we are feeling more, more comfortable now. And are you guys satisfied with what you guys been playing in the first round? So are you guys satisfied what you guys have been playing as a team or individually? For what we have, I still think we have a lot a lot to improve as a team. I think we need to be better than this if we want to win. And individually I'm completely not not satisfied. I think I could play way better than, than this. <laughs> <laughs> you agree, Jim should play better. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jinkas is not cool. But I, I don't think we are playing bad, you know. That's why we are winning also. And we had some good points too, but as I said, if we want to like be champions, then we need to improve for sure. You say, Coco? I think it can be better. Uh, I'm not sat satisfied too about my gameplay. I think uh, I can show more than this. I think same as in Kedo. We still need to fix something, uh, some mistakes, and improve a lot to be champions. So this question is to protect, is to defend Prodelta. And they want two guys to tell what, why Prodelta score on Baiano's card, Baiano's cartinhas, mm. is so bad. Really? How is your grade? Semana yeah. passada foi 84. 84? Yeah. 84 is fine. Yeah, but before is 78. I don't know, I think I don't play too well for me to be a match very good. I think I don't play too well on stage. Eu tô jogando suave, acho que a gente tá conseguindo ganhar, mas eu sinto que dá pra mostrar muito mais e ver jogos muito melhores assim. Essa é a hora que a gente defende ele, mas de que tu não é amigo deles. Tem que fazer a amizade com os caras lá. Né? Faz tempo que eu não troco ideia com os caras lá, acho que eles estão meio pá comigo e eles estão me dando atalho. É, então, mano, quando você quiser chamar pra depois o Cripe, tá aí, eu tô mais, tá ligado? Semana que vem. É que tá junto, sei. So many people say that despite of the changes in the lineup since the first beat of 2022, the team has changed very little. And is is this the reason that you guys are always a constant team and keep reaching the finals? Do you guys think that big changes in lineups can affect the performance? I mean, of course, change should change, no? Like, no, but I mean, from what I've understood, of it's course, good that's... or not, we can't know. Depends on the team, depends on the players they are trading, you know. Yeah, but normally, of course, that like changing a few players, you know, like is good for the team, you know, if you're like. Uh, yeah, normally, think about the long-term view, yeah, you know? Yeah. Normally, if you are a good team and you don't change much, you probably are going to be a good team still, you know? Huh. And that's what happened with us, you know? We already good, was a good team before, so after we changed, we pro of, uh, probably would be like kind of similar or at least same level at, at most, you know? So, yeah. That's it. On Sunday, we have the, the first match of the second round, and they are asking, um, now that she, like, we already saw nine matches for each team which matches do you guys want to have soon and why and if you guys have any specific player you want to play against so are you guys anxious to play <laughs> against any specific team or a specific player i want to play against head again because i felt we could win we could beat them but we try a lot so i i want to have a second chance against them revenge i feel same i mean i don't need a second chance just i want to win Every team on second split. Mm -hmm. For me, I wanna face Los again because Netuno is my friend. 
So it's fun playing against me. So you wanna have fun? Yeah. First game, <laughs> game. So you're playing <laughs> safe a lot, you have fun. <laughs> no. No, so it's like that, I wanna play against Lobby Plus because Ranger is my friend. You want to play against Ranger? So. Yeah, I wanna play against Ranger. Nice, yes. Anyway, are you looking forward to play against specific AD or no? Maybe same as Kaka. At least, like, that game was super winnable. E esse foi o fim de mais um Pen Responde. Ah! Muito obrigado a todos vocês que mandaram pergunta. A gente vai para mais um 2x0 no final de semana. A gente conta com a de todos vocês. E é isso. Algum tamo recado junto. especial? Ah, tamo junto aí, mano. Chuta o like. Chuta o like. <risos>